another really cool feature with SolidWorks is uh, the fact that it's completely compatible with all your AutoCAD drawings and this is something that I I really would recommend everyone try and do a couple times or learn uh, you, this is my machine drafting chapter 5 folder from last semester uh, just a simple part we made you can drag that file right into the SolidWorks screen menu will pop up and you want to create new SolidWorks drawing no we do not want we want to make it into a part click next here you can delete the layers you don't want we don't need our folding lines in here so I'm going to turn those off uh, sometimes center lines are helpful sometimes they're not just whatever I'm gonna leave them on there and click finish okay if you get an error message it doesn't matter now what we did here is we inserted all those sketches onto one plane which is not really ideal so when you insert an AutoCAD drawing you're gonna get this this toolbar automatically popping up it's the let's see I think it's it's 2d to 3d toolbar what we first want to do is select the uh, the at what's really our front our front view of the drawing. Now notice by default you are automatically opened up into a sketch. So you select the front view first. Always select the front view first, and then you come up here to front. Click that. It'll add it in its own sketch. Select the top view, and we'll find top and it rotates it to the top. Select right view and it rotates it into the right view. Now because we set up our drawings the way we did in uh, in AutoCAD to where everything was perfectly lined up, you know the top sketch was completely perfectly uh, above the front sketch and the, and the right profile sketch was is perfectly to the right of this. You don't really have to do any alignment but for the sake of showing you how to do it <coughs> uh, we can select this line and then control select select this because you want to move this control select this that way it's going to move it in line with this we will select align sketch now see how that moved it ab right above this because this is our basically everything is related to this sketch same thing with this this is the furthest most uh, part uh, side of the line or side of the part select this and then we will control select any vertical line on this one align sketch now everything should be lined up perfectly I'm gonna click OK to my sketch and now I have three sketches that are perfectly in line with each other I'm gonna change the background to black to give you a better view of our sketches. Now anything in your feature manager tree you can actually rename so I'm just gonna click on this and say that is the front this click once again is the top whoops it doesn't matter click here and this is the profile or right side view. Now from the front sketch we're going to extrude on our selected contours if all this is not selected by default you will have to select the regions in which you want this to uh, to use now since everything is aligned with this sketch we can start from the sketch plane and here's where the up to vertex comes in handy we want it to stop on any one of these vertexes at the end so stop right there now once you make a feature from a sketch that sketch becomes hidden you can select the uh, plus mark or plus sign and then click on your sketch click show that way it still shows it it's kinda hard to see but it's still showing it there for you I'll change the material so you can see it a little bit better now all your features can be done the same way we have a, uh, a uh, slot cut out right here on top so let's select something on this sketch and then extrude cut now it's telling us that we're gonna cut everything that's in yellow we don't want that we want to flip 
side of the cut. So it's going to flip, this arrow shows, it's going to cut everything on the outside of this sketch. So we can go from the sketch plane through all. It goes all the way down. Now it still looks like we're cutting inside this in all this yellow, but because flip side of cut is selected, it's not going to. It just cut that slot. Now remember plus mark or plus sign, click on top and click show. We still have some features we need from here. We don't have anything we can really do with this sketch, so I'm just going to leave it. But let's go to extrude cut again. Select a sketch. We want to select this sketch. Selected contours. This time we want to select the inside of this circle, the inside of this circle. We want to go through all, so it cuts through this. We want to click OK. Now, literally, that's it. You just made the part that you drew in AutoCAD, but you made it in SolidWorks. Now we can go back to all our little sketches and hide them if we want. And there's one of the parts that we made in AutoCAD.